It was January 12th, 2021, when Donald Trump said this. To terminate those policies is knowingly to put America in really serious danger and to override the great career experts that have worked so hard, those from DHS. At this very moment, smugglers and coyotes are preparing to surge the border if our policies are loosened or removed. I mean, they're literally waiting. Big, big groups of people, some of them very unsavory, I might add. This is an entirely preventable tragedy. It's waiting to happen. Sadly, it was probably around this time where I was having, starting to have somewhat of an awakening uh, about Donald Trump. But sadly, man, it, it, during this time, nobody was trying to hear him out. Nobody. He said, man, what are you talking about? Go, go on somewhere. But just like Trump has been all this year, really, since he hasn't been in office, Trump was right again. You Democrats knew that this was coming. Y'all knew that this type of stuff was going to happen. We seen what just happened with the 12 year old girl, Jacqueline. We seen what's going on across America. I can't even say, you know, uh, what was happening for uh, the sake of me being on this platform. But y'all knew this was coming. <laughs> And y'all y'all wanted it to happen for your own personal gains. Trump has been right, man, time and time again. Honestly, that's why we need him back in that office to get our country back on track. And I have this question to pose to you. If Trump has been right about this, that, this, that, and the third, shouldn't that make the people whom aren't Trump supporters who can say, oh, yeah, you know, he was right. Shouldn't it at least make y'all question 81 million votes? Hmm, maybe Trump was, you know, I'm just saying. Hell, even CNBS, I mean, CNBC, uh, host had enough of the lies as it pertains to Biden and the border. Whole move to try to come up with something um, by the administration and obviously bipartisan. That didn't come until it became clear it was going to be a major campaign issue. And only then. Did the, did the Biden administration get interested in it? And, and every time I hear well, those well, talking, hold on, let's, but, let's but, be no, clear no, here, Let though. me finish first. But every time we hear those talking points, that suddenly it was Republicans who ruined the border. That's why people get so frustrated. We know what President Biden said about inviting people in. We know that he got rid of all the things that were keeping the border closed that President Trump had put in, we know that he got rid of all those. So when you say it's not his well, fault, that's not, that's he did, literally not true. It's literally not what, true what that he got rid did of you the see seven, it's true, he got rid did of, you okay, see he got rid of family separation. Did you see 7.2 million people come in yeah, it, it, look, during the Trump administration? It look, was a trickle. He got rid of the point. policy to tear children out of the arms of their parents. That's true. But it is not true. Uh, some of the other things that, that have been suggested. Let's this be clear. Is, this is part of the problem with why there's a disconnect. Taking place in 2015, 2006. Okay. I mean, literally since... This is what they do. Just blah, 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 blah. That's literally not true. Motherfucker. Yes, it is. As soon as he got in the office, he went to just blah, 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 blah. What are you talking about? You want us to sit here and believe? <laughs> That's just simply not true. Just simply not true. Bro, are you kidding me, dog, dog? I, I, I got you, bro. I let out a little frustration for you, man. <laughs> Even this, the, the host of a CNNBC. Uh, well, of uh, one of the hosts on CS, uh, NBC, whatever, one of the hosts, he's even frustrated. And y'all know they looking for anything to be against Trump. So for him to show this level of frustration, bro, come on, man. How many lies can we tell? You know, it's bad when you have legacy media and mainstream media getting riled up over this, bro. Love to see it. Honestly, CNN been having to change your heart. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, it's real bad when the Democrats are turning against Joe Biden about the border crisis because they were definitely on his side. And dude was disgusted at the end of this. I mean, utterly disgusted. I would be, too. I hate when people aren't intellectually honest, honest, you know, and I will say to the people <coughs> who doing legacy media. Uh, finally, we need more of this type of interaction. We need more people common sense checking in, you know, as opposed to just saying any and everything for a check. I don't think that they realize they pushed way too far on this border issue and it's pushed so many of us away. Now, this video, shout out to Travis uh, for Trump, 
on Twitter, he posted this. He said, this video alone should be the end of the Biden administration and every politician who's allowed it to happen. An official at the State Department admits the goal of open borders to change America's demographics to Latins who are more liberal. Oh, wow. Y'all check this out. There's got to be some things that you're like, man, I wish I could tell, tell the world about this. Oh, there's a lot of things. But mostly, mostly what the immigration. I wish people knew that we're letting in criminals daily. The big issue for the, the hell for our region is migration. Oh. So we poured a lot of money into Central America. Wait, how much? Four billion over four years. But now migrants are coming from us in there. Right. Like Venezuela. I mean, just laughing about it. I mean, just laughing. You see that? Just chuckling. Oh, my God. Let me back it up because uh, I'm going to have to rehearse. We are the Venezuelan nationality. Venezuela. Uh, I have a flight to New York. Le comp mm -hmm. uh, compraste un vuelo con Spirit? Sí. So what is the end goal? Why are they allowing it? Truly, they want to change the demographics of the United States. David. So our aid goes to female prisons in Mexico. Some of them, yeah. Yeah, to like help train them up. I'm working with uh, gender issues in Pakistan. So we're trying to recruit, retain, and advance more women in law enforcement. The question becomes, do we, should we be spending U.S. taxpayers money in another country on this issue? When is it we don't seem to care about? Wow. Secretary Blinken, how close are you to him? Five degrees separation. This is such a niche industry that flies under the radar yeah. that the average American does not know. Oh, we know the average American does not know, but what about the ones that are on to it? They are, you know what? Let me not even say nothing. Let me just let this play. People don't know what we do. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much uh, to you, uh, Ranking Member Risch, uh, all the members of the committee, uh, and thank you for the opportunity to testify today. Yes, briefing's coming up in two weeks. He has briefings? Yeah, on the Hill. About the FY 2025 budget request. And that's like with all the congressional people. The big issue for the, the Hill for our region is migration. Mm. Oh Help my. Stop migration. What are we doing to stop migration? Nothing. He's not accountable for that, is he? Yeah, we do stuff for it. Oh, do you? Like yeah. it? Oh, I didn't realize that. It's called the root cause of strategy. Ooh, how it's giving money to support and help people at where they, the origins of the migrants are, so they feel like they can stay there instead of migrating out. So it's Central America, basically. It's what? It's basically Central America. Like, right. support and development. Oh. So we poured a lot of money into Central America. Wow. Oh, you on. invest in everywhere else but into the American people. You're, you're, you're investing against the American people, literally. Four billion over four years. Oh, Billions. Money from those places. That's a lot of money. Is it doing anything? Uh, I think for them, yes. But now migrants are coming from us there, right. like Venezuela. So we're like, oh, this didn't solve that problem. So no. So what does he say to that? That looks bad for the administration, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it looks bad for any administration because no one's solved migrants. It's like I'm, the end all be all, like kill pill for politics. Right. And I feel like, I feel like if anything, the other side's gonna win because of it. I know. My dad used to complain about that. I'm like, oh, and like in my mind, I'm like, oh, that's not that much. And then I see the chart, and I'm like, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> like compared to like 20 years ago. I I'm like, oh wait, they're on to something. And I don't know what to say to that. I I really don't. I literally don't know. Like, what what would the administration say to that? I don't know. And like, I sit there too, I'm, and I talk with my coworker who like manages the migration for the systems. And I, we always talk every time, like, I don't know what we do. Like, there's no clear answer. Do they do, do, they do things within the Foreign Affairs Department that, that people have like this money going through these women? I mean, there's got to be some things that you're like, man, I wish I could tell, tell the world about this. Oh, there's a lot of things. But mostly, mostly with immigration. Immigration. Because that's the one that we're left is really good for immigration. I wish people knew that we're letting in criminals daily. Like when I was in... You have confirmation of that. You have confirmation? Oh, yeah. So they, so all the good, honest, hard work in Mexico stay in Mexico, and all the pieces of garbage come to the United States. And those are the ones that we left. We are literally, and the Mexican government has no reason to stop it because these their, their garbage goes to another country and sends money back to it. Like, imagine if the worst of the worst, and all the criminals in the United States were all going to Canada and sending back billions of dollars a year. Why would you stop that? I wouldn't even change the numbers of, wow. like, if we let in 100,000 Mexicans a year, I'm like, 
let the hundred thousand Mexicans hear us. They don't care about us, is what I'm hearing him say. Change the quality of the applicant. Make the you know right. say a hundred thousand Mexicans, but you can't have been in the U.S. illegally, and you can't have a criminal record. So what is the end goal? Why aren't they allowing it? Truly, they want to change the demographics of the United States. They really do. Because I mean, um, no, honestly, the the people from Nebraska, like my family, like Americans that have. My family's been in the United States for 400 years. Traditional standard Americans are not leftists. Latin Americans all are leftists. And it's just, it literally is it's just to try, try to change it. As Travis also pointed out, this type of information would never be on CNN. He said that in response to a comment that said, you know, the majority of Democrat voters can't hear and their news won't show it to them. Man, can't hear, oh my God, hit that on the nail. Can't hear for sure. Or willing, willfully ignoring uh, what they are hearing right here. Trump was right again, bro, again. I remember the left making a big case about Donald Trump. Oh, he's calling everybody who comes over the border criminals and all of this, that, and the third. Now I remember being real, like when I was a leftist being, stuck on semantics is not what you say is how you say it forget the intention is how i experienced it you know type stuff but when he was saying those things i'm like man how can you stand considered now he wasn't even saying everybody was criminals he was just saying they're letting their criminals also be a part of this illegal uh migration crisis and i'm sitting there like nah trump man you tripping bro now look <laughs> but we was told this was a conspiracy theory yo these are all conspiracies Another conspiracy theory. <laughs> Man, at this point, I'm not surprised by anything. By nothing. Like, by nothing. I will say this, though. These dudes can't keep secrets. Hey, man, they can't. Glad they can't so we can finally get some truth. And it also goes to show you that some people are willing to do any and everything for the dollar. Can't trust everybody out here, man. How much information is needed to drop to hold these people accountable? Huh? <laughs> Treason. That's all I'm saying.